Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter Neal and today another superb haul video for you. I got some real nice pieces, some Oriental, some German and just some really unusual things. Stick around, I hope you enjoy. Okay, just quickly before we get going guys, if you love antiques, collectibles, you're in the reseller business, then don't forget to subscribe because my channel's all about how-to videos. I go out buying antiques and I show you what everything's worth and how to identify it. So stake your claim guys, make sure you subscribe. If the videos help you and you like them, I would really appreciate a like and a share to help me keep creating videos. Let's get to it. Okay, so I'm going to start off today with um, one of my biggest tips that I've been telling you for for a while now. And we're going to start off with a piece of West German pottery. Absolutely beautiful colours. Look at the colouring on this. It is spectacular. Now, it's um, designed, or should I say produced, and I'm going to try and get this right, by Carsten's Tony Schoff. <laughs> Something like that, Tony Schoff. Um, it's West German pottery, obviously. This here is the Carsten's mark, the CT. Um, I'm very fortunate. It's easy to read, but the easiest way you'll find out who uh, who produced your West German vase would be to type in the numbers. So this one here is seven five eight seven dash twenty five. I think twenty five is the size. So beautiful, beautiful, look at the colouring on that. Absolutely stunning. And I've done my research on it already. Now this one came in for one pound. Gethly Gay Car Boot Sale, uh, last Sunday, a pound. Superb piece, really happy with it. And I can tell you now that's gonna be straight on eBay for a damn good profit. S stick around a minute, cause I'm not finished yet. Another piece of West German pottery. Is this one not as colorful but I love this long uh, sunflower if you like it's double-sided and again by the same maker Carson's Carsten Tony Schoff <laughs> I'll try and get it one day um, and again this one is 7691-40 so 40 being the size so obviously it's massive um, and again, I found this. Now, believe it or not, both pieces are by the designer, <sighs> Daita Peter. I'll show you it in writing in a minute. But two really nice pieces. This one cost me three pounds. So you've got three pound and a pound. So four pound for two spectacular West German pieces. Not being funny. Really? Four quid? Anyway, have a look at the research by out on these before we move on to something else. Okay, just searching at the moment the maker, Carstens. Well, in fact, I'm going to zoom in. So it's Carstens, Tony Shoff, I think. And we move on. Now, this is a very similar piece, only it hasn't got the loop on the top and that. Um, they call it a beehive, but I don't know if it is or not. I don't know enough. I haven't got enough knowledge, guys. I really haven't. Now, these are asking prices. Now, there's an identical piece to what I got, except it got two handles. Take the one handle off, and that's what I got. Right, and again, Carsten's Tony off, uh, and the number pattern number is the same as well. But I'm sure there'll be one on you now with just the one handle. Maybe not. You can see the variety that they do, though. Now, these are asking prices, and we got international sellers then. These are all asking prices. If I come across you, yeah, now, bearing in mind, I've only searched by the maker. Um, now, there's the maker they're saying it is. Daita Peter. West German by Carstens. Now, again, that's very similar to what I got. In fact, that's similar to the £350 one. Except I got the loop handle. Now, there is one there. And there it is. £21.47. Now, I won't be selling mine that cheap. I can tell you now, I'm putting mine up for £40. £40. Um, and I rate it and I don't think I'm going to have a problem. I'll probably put 45 on your best offer and I think I'll achieve 35, 40 pound no problem at all. Then moving on and I found my vase. And if you come across here, this was on Google I searched this. 
And there it is again, Carstens, modelled designer, Deity Peter. So there we have it again. Now, did I find one on eBay? No. There wasn't one of these sold on eBay, but I can tell you now, this one again is going to go up for about £35. Okay, so we have a really nice little quirky collectible. It is the USS Enterprise in diecast, guys. Produced by CBS in 2012. Put the stand down. I love when um, toys are done in diecast because they're built to last. Now, I used to have the original diecast Enterprise done by Dinky. I loved it. Don't know where that is actually, but uh, yeah. It's a really nice collectible. And I can tell you now. It, it come in, it was either one or two pound, I can't remember which, it weren't over two pound, it might have been a pound. Um, but genuinely, what a really nice collectible. I know it's a long way from an antique, but it is a collectible. There's a lot of Star Trek or Trekkies out there, fans, and if you excuse the pun, it's not. It's going to fly out the door. It really is. Up and away. Um, but for the one or two quid I spent on it, I'm going to put 12 pound on this. And to be honest with you, I'm not going to struggle to get the tear. Now it's going to fly out. So I'm really pleased with that. Next piece, guys, we have an auctioneer's gavel in brass and mahogany. Really nice. Again, it came in very, very cheap. One or two pounds. Um, I think it was one pound fifty actually, but one or two pounds it was. And nice, solid, nice, solid weight to it. It's a nice auctioneer's gavel. Again, it's not going to be fortunes. I'm going to put 12 or 15 pound on it, and anything over a 10 is going to take it. But a nice, nice thing. Next piece. Again, I'm not going to do research on this one, but we have a set of absolutely beautiful butterflies cased in a glass frame, glass front and glass back. So you can see both sides if you like. Uh, so you could theoretically stand that on a table or something somewhere and see front and back. It needs a good clean, it's stinking dirty. Um, but really nice little collection of butterflies. Now, this one cost me, I think it was £3. I'm not going to bother researching because they're all over the place on eBay. And I'm going to put 25 on it to take anything around £20, £18, £20. You know, that's only a few pound a butterfly, which is cheap enough, and it is beautifully cased, and it will look amazing in somebody's home if they collect, um, you know, whether you collect taxidermy or the butterflies preserved or insects, whatever. This is a nice little piece to put in your collection. And I just love the fact it's glass glazed. It does help, better than uh, being plastic. Just means a bit, bit more quality. And the butterflies are preserved beautifully. There's no damage to them. They've still got their luster. And this one down here in the corner, if you look at the colouring on that, it's stunning. So, really nice little uh, set of butterflies there, guys. And um, I do, I absolutely love them. Next piece I'm going to show you, I am actually going to do some research on it for you. We have another Chinese... Abacus lamp. Now, why do they call it an abacus lamp? Need I say any more? No. Because it looks like an abacus. This one is brass mounted, solid brass base, uh, brass strapping over the lacquered wood, and a brass top. Just a nice example of a Chinese lamp. Um, now, I, as I've already said, I have had a Chinese abacus lamp before. In fact, there it is, the remains still in the window. Um, it haven't sold yet. But I haven't put them on eBay either. I wanted them in the shop first because they're absolutely beautiful. Now take a look at the prices on Abacus Lamps and you'll have a shock of your life. Have a look at these. Okay, so all I've searched is Abacus Lamp and gone highest price and sold. There's the highest price. Abacus Lamp, £380. £55. £45. £22. And that's it. 
So it's some really good prices there. I'm going to show you uh, what people are actually asking from now in a minute. But we're going to have a look at this £370 one. See why it's so expensive. Let's have a look. It may be an original 19th century. You never know. Right, so what's the description? Uh, vintage abacus turned into a lamp with nice brass frame. So they're saying this is an original abacus that has been turned into a lamp. Uh, I beg to differ. I think that was made as a lamp very similar to mine. But I wouldn't have enough knowledge to argue, I suppose. It could be, I suppose. But it does look like it was made that way to me. Either way, let's have a little look. Um, we'll go lamps that are not sold. Bear with me a second, guys. Right, so abacus lamps, there's 24 of them up for sale. £810. Now that's the style I got in the window at the moment. 95 80 Ben in my mind got a brass base so I haven't seen one with the brass base yet and then you come all the way down to 6 and 10 bound uh, from America no, not even going to go there so you can see the price they're asking for abacus lamps as you can see I won't walk past an abacus lamp now um, now I know I haven't sold that one yet but they're coming in so cheap um, you know that's gonna go out and it's gonna be good money and it again it came in for next to nothing literally did uh, get the gear car boot sale for peanuts um, value wise I, I really don't know where to be with them yet I, I'm thinking 50 60 quid is about where I'm gonna be on it which seems realistic price but that is a really damn good profit Moving on to my next piece, I absolutely love this. Watch the shape of this now. Look at that for shape. Pure art deco, and I mean pure. Now when I saw this on the stall, I thought instantly Keith Murray. I thought Wedgwood Keith Murray. However, it's cream petal, Grindley, England. Now even the body is all stepler. Now my concern is, now if you look there, they look the same. But the, the lid doesn't fit perfectly. It, um, can you see that? So I don't know if it's a matched lid and there's a slight difference in the color there to there, but the insides match, perfect. Um, it's an Art Deco lid. So I don't know whether to sell it with a matched lid or sell just the base of the teapot or I don't know because the lid doesn't fit clearly doesn't fit tidy it still wobbles but what a teapot if that lid was exact perfect fit the exact same color as this duh, I'd be asking some good money for this what a beautiful uh, shape you can see what it cost me but there two pounds and even for two pound I weren't gonna leave it there even if it's got a matched lid I could sell it without the lid, just like that, as the Art Deco base. And probably, to be honest with you, I could probably hang on to this, wait for someone to put one up damaged, and buy it cheap enough and then sell it as a perfect. Because look at that shape. That is screaming Art Deco. If this had a bit of colour, you'd be hundreds of pounds if you had some colour on it with this shape. But yeah, I'm really unsure. But if, I don't know if you can see it, it's not enough light. The colour's wrong on the outside. Definitely is a difference in colour. But internally, the inside colour to that and the inside colour to that matches perfect. So I don't know. We'll have a little look now, see if I can find one of these teapots anyway and see what lid they come with. Okay, not a lot of um, luck on eBay. Now, Cream Petal, I found out, is the pattern name. Um, but these are the best I could find on eBay and to be honest with you nothing comparable whatsoever for what I've got they're all just pretty standard move across here and I found this one on Google which does have um, an art deco shape not as good as the one I got 
but it does have the same step in there. It has a nice handle, very similar handle to what I got, but there's this painted green, but it's got the same lid. Do you see the lid? So that lid is identical to the lid I've got. So maybe it is the right lid. Uh, my spout's a lot better than that. But if I go to the one there, what they are selling, there it is. They're asking £55 for theirs, 19.36. Now, there's none on eBay on sold listings or current listings. The lid is the right lid for what they've done. So I'm wondering whether it's just warped. It could have just been a warped lid because um, I know this is the right lid for what they do. So what I'm probably going to do with this one is run a bit of an experiment. I'm going to put it on eBay for £12 on auction. And I'm going to tell them about the lid and say it is the correct lid for the company. This is the lid they make, but it is very wobbly and doesn't fit flush. So I don't know if it's matched off a different teapot by Grindley. Uh, and that's what I'm going to tell them straight. doesn't fit perfectly. And the colour is slightly off. So... I'm going to sell it with a matched lid, but look at that shape. And if somebody wants it just for display purposes, that is a spectacular piece. So I'm going to run an experiment on that one. That's going to be listed on eBay next week. Um, I'll uh, do an update in another video another time. i got a few pieces now I'm going to show you. I'm not going to do research on. I just want you to see some of the pieces I've picked up cheap uh, before I chuck them in the shop. I've had a trench art vase, all cut around the top and cut here. Very crudely cut, my day. I'd look how rough that's cut. Not the best cutting in the world. I've seen a lot better than that. Um, so, it came in for a pound. It's not the best cutting in the world, as I've said. Um, but it is still a trench art vase. And to be honest, with you, that looks like somebody's just taken a drill to it. I didn't realise it was that rough when I bought it. But for a pound, I'll probably put that back on the boot sale now. To be honest, you seeing how rough it is. I'll chuck a fibre on it or something. I had a Silvac Pottery Elephant, quite a nice one, it's got a stamp here, it's a bit faded but it's got an ink stamp, Silvac, um, these things have been copied to death, to be honest with you, I think they sold the moles at one point, I don't know, but um, it's, it's stamped Silvac and it's a nice example of an elephant and it came in for a pound fifty. So again, it's going to go out for about a tenner. Next one, I had a beautiful lemonade jug. Look at the cutting on this beautiful uh, piece. Now it is hand blown. It's got a nice ground and polished pontal mark. It's notched all around the rim. It is just a nice quality crystal jug. And again, it came in for a pound. Um, and I don't mind offering these out for 12 and 15 pound in the shop good quality jug it's usable it's beautiful and it's in good condition nothing wrong with that at all um, two more things I'll show you first one here is an early 20th century pressed biscuit barrel okay start again so what we got here guys is probably a 1920s glass and EPNS biscuit barrel. Now the silver plate has worn, it's down to the nickel, but it still really does look nice and this beautiful finial on top is stunning. Now still a really nice biscuit barrel, there's no chips or cracks, as I've said the silver plate is worn off, you can have them replated, I don't bother, I paid a pound for it. <coughs> I'm going to put it in here for 12 quid and it's going to go some, once I've cleaned it obviously, somebody's going to just take a like into that as a biscuit barrel and think, do you know what, that's beautiful. And I'm not even going to mention the silver plate gone, for all they know that is the colour it's supposed to be. So somebody's just going to like it for what it is as a really nice 1920s biscuit barrel. Um, for a pound, absolutely beautiful, we weren't even there. Next piece, cost me a pound again. And we have... A salva or a tray um, in EPNS. Now, a beautiful etched pattern on it. I know I haven't cleaned it yet, it will clean. 
nice real nice uh, feet on it scrolled feet as I've said like well, stinking dirty uh, it is fully stamped up there but again for a pound you know that's a really nice tray you know whether you want to put a decanter and glasses on it or whether you want it for business cards you know things like that or greetings cards anything these have a multitude of uses these days and that is a really nice piece for a pound and once I've cleaned that up I'd be really pleased um, it's not gonna be four tunes guys 15 pound maybe 18 at the push depending on how well it cleans up 20 quid best but um, yeah for a pound I'm not gonna leave it there it's good value and it is a really nice little silver plated tray so um, the star lots obviously are the Chinese lamp and the West German vases and obviously the Art Deco teapot is stunning even though I'm not 100% on that lid still. Now I know the lid is correct for the company but whether it's correct for that teapot's another thing. She may have had a few teapots and mismatched the bloody lids. Somebody else may have got to the one with the wrong lid and I got to that one with the wrong lid, I don't know. Um, but we'll see. I'll keep my eye out and get the gear. If she turns up again, I will we'll be checking uh, her other teapots. But next week now, that one will be up for sale with the matched lid that isn't correct, as far as I'm concerned. But all in all, guys, it's a really nice uh, little haul again. Um, some nice little collector pieces, you know, the Star Trek uh, die-cast toy, the gavel. You know, they're all going to go in the shop here. They're all going to look interesting and quirky, and they're going to sell. Uh, little, just little bits that can come in and go. Oh, I really like that and take them away for no money at all. You know, ten, twenty pound is no money at all in the antiques world. So, the lamp, again, that one now may end up on eBay. Cause I've already got one here that's been here for a while and I'm sold. So to be honest, with you, they both may end up on eBay now over the next week or two. And the West German vases are going to end up on eBay. But other than that, I think that's about it, guys. For what I'm putting in today's video. Um, loads more stock there waiting to be filmed so I will get some more films made up over the weekend before I fil try and film live uh, that's going to be an interesting one make sure you keep your eye open for the live videos I don't know how often I'm going to do them but I'm going to do them as often as I can guys thank you very much for watching I, I do hope you've enjoyed having a look at these bits if you have I would really appreciate a like and a share thanks for watching bye for now